Good morning, I'm Melanie King, Executive Director of Proclaiming Grace Outreach. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization, originally out of Barhamsville, so not too far from your congregation's area. And I've just had the privilege of being part of the service today with Mother Jennifer. During her sermon today, she did say, we are to love as Jesus loves. That could not have been a better introduction to um, letting you know about our nonprofit today. We are now housed in Lenexa, Virginia, recently moved, so not too far away. Um, it takes a village to do what we do. And as I began to explain to you just exactly what that is, I will let you know that we do partner with 20 different churches and civic organizations, as well as individuals for the many missions of Proclaiming Grace Outreach. We are often referred to as PGO, much easier since we have a mouthful there in our title. Um, 16 years ago, we lost our daughter in a car accident. It was a life-changing event, needless to say, but I will let you know that God spoke to me that evening, and I'll reference this piece of scripture from Genesis 50, 20. You intended to harm me, but God intended for it to be good, to accomplish now what is being done, the saving of many lives. And that's exactly what he did. He took something bad and allowed us to make something good out of it. We certainly hope that PGO has touched the lives of people and brought them closer to Christ. We don't know that. Um, we can only hope through our example that that is something that would happen. But I can tell you that we are providing life-saving food last year alone for over 3,000 people in our area. Our food pantry is open on the first and third Friday of each month. We're serving all of New Kent County as well as the upper portion of James City County. Although I would say over the past several years with the economy being the way it has been, we refer to part of our mission statement, which says we also serve the disadvantaged and those who have fallen on economic hardship times. If you've been to the grocery store lately, you would understand exactly what I mean. We're shopping for two in our household, but imagine a family and the absurd cost of groceries these days. So we are serving more people than we've served in quite a while. Um, we also, get on the right page now. I told um, Tori here that we would have an informal video. Um, our food pantry is housed on the grounds of Tabernacle Christian Church in Barhamsville. We make it easy for people to get food. Um, the first time, all you have to do is show up. From there, we do check to see that you live in our jurisdictional area, as well as meet our income requirements. But like I say, we're serving a lot of people that are falling in between right now. We, I'm gonna just unashamedly say, we have the best food pantry around. The reason I say that is because we partner with Food Lion, we partner with Feed More out of Richmond, we have several individuals and companies that um, hold food drives for us. And most recently, we partnered with Kelray Farm, which I'm sure many of you are aware of. They have created what they call the Food Hub. And from there, they have granted us $1,000 of food every single month. So our clients are not leaving with just any old regular food. They're leaving with products from many different um, local companies. Um, to include sales by Victor. Just this past Friday, people left with a cheese pizza, homemade sauce, we've had homemade pasta. We feel like we're able to bless them with some of the best items around. So our food pantry also participates in what we call the weekend food program. This is in, for the elementary students in Stonehouse, Stonehouse Church, I'm thinking of the Presbyterian Church, Stonehouse School, Stonehouse Elementary School, as well as New Kent Elementary School. Our food pantry coordinator has some wonderful stories of the children that pull the little suitcases out for, with their weekend food and just how much it has touched their lives. So the financial engine of what we do is Grace Village Thrift. We operate a thrift store located in, in Lenexa on Route 60, right next to Liberty Baptist Church. Um, our thrift store is open only on Saturdays, but once again, it's the greatest place to be on a Saturday. You can buy an entire outfit for $2.75 there. 
So we are open for people that um, enjoy thrifting. We have quite the following there, but we also are open for people who maybe can't afford the $2.75 for the outfit. So we give away a lot of items as well as partner with different people when they come out of certain situations like a house fire, helping them to reestablish, as well as work with Bridges of Change in New Kent County, that's the domestic violence women's home. They often come to the home with the clothing on their back, so we open the doors for them to be able to get anything that they need for themselves and their children, as well as when they come to establish a new home of their own, we help set them up with furniture, household, kitchen items, anything we have that they may need for that transition. Another branch of what we do is our home repair branch. Last year, we were able to repair the homes of 14 different families. This includes quite often new roofs, new floors, handicap ramps, and it's basic home repair needs. After we began that branch and we had people fed and in nice, secure homes, we realized that oftentimes they couldn't get to their jobs to sustain their lives or to medical appointments or to school. So we created what we call the Go Car Repair Program, another entity that they can apply for to help keep them going. We offer scholarships each year to New Kent High School students as well as Warhill High School. Those applications can be found in the respective guidance offices. The Jenna Bash Festival is coming up soon. That's always the first Saturday of August. This year we are holding that at Life Point Christian Church. You might hear me mentioning several different churches and that is a great part of what we do. We collaborate with lots of different churches because there's no way we could do this on our own. So the Jenna Bash Festival is a carnival style family event. It involves a huge, wonderful silent auction as well as animal adoptions, barbecue, food, all different kinds of food, games for the kids, a water slide, and lots of vendors. So it's a big fun day. That's gonna be August 3rd this year from 11 to four. We hope you can join us. If not, and even if you do, we are always looking for extra vendors as well as people to donate items for the silent auction. This can be a variety of things. We have a pretty practical silent auction, so Items for the guys, items for the kids, um, all kinds of items are accepted. You can always give us a call at our office. The number is 757-741-5070. And you can get more answers to your questions. We also have flyers that will be left with your congregation here at the church. And for the future, I just want to say that we are in plans. If you've known anything about us before, you would know we've been in the plan process for a long time of building a new food pantry. Currently, our food pantry is in an old school trailer. It's not a pretty thing to look at, but a lot of good comes out of it. We are looking to build on our piece of property on Route 30, and we finally have gotten the approval of New Kent County to be able to put a food pantry on that site. So there are still some logistics to work out and some funds to raise, but we're hoping to break around on that before too long. So many times people say, how can you help? Volunteering is always a great thing to do. In fact, it's proven to be quite good for you. We need volunteers at all of our entities and you can always bring food items, host a food drive, but the best thing that you can do is pray for us. If you would keep us in your prayers as we move forward into the future, that would always be a great thing. Thank you for listening today and be sure to visit our website at pgova.org and as well as on Facebook. We have a big presence on Facebook as well. Thank you.